Hey, it's Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis, and it's time to talk some more Time Lord Victorious. This time we're going to be talking about Big Finishes. He Kills Me, He Kills Me Not, an audio drama. Uh, we've talked a few of the Big Finish before this, the Short Trips with the Master. Those were more audio books. This is a proper audio drama. And uh, uh, so there's sound effects, different things, and it's, you know, it's like uh, having the TV on with your eyes closed. But it's even even better than that because they know it's sound oriented, so they put a lot of extra cues in there for you. Really wonderful stories. And if you're somebody who's maybe had a problem with uh, the way Doctor Who's been going lately, this is some serious uh, sci-fi storytelling here in the Time Lord Victoria stuff and, and Big Finish in general. Really amazing job. Since I've come into that, I've really dived deep into their stuff and been enjoying it so if you're someone who's felt like maybe doctor who isn't for you anymore uh go check big finish out uh, on that note this is an eighth doctor paul mcgann uh story and if there's anything that this makes you aware of and big finish in general is that we were robbed of a proper paul mcgann doctor who series he's a great and excellent doctor that movie does not do him justice at all and uh, he loves being in the role and so, you know, we have this situation right now where, like, they're, they're recording, they're making the seasons even shorter because actors can't work as long. They're drawing them out. There's, like, two years in between seasons. Get another director and do, um, like, the David Tennant specials. Do some Paul McGann specials. You know, it would be great. You would bring in some of these older fans that aren't happy. Like, give them that. Have your other Doctor Who that you have going current there, but put this in between and, uh, you know, something for everybody. Uh, I think that would be really good. And uh, Paul McGann deserves it. He really loves the role and uh, was never really given the, the shot to shine like some of the other Doctors have. I think if he had been, he might be a lot of people's favorite. Right up there with, uh, you know, like david tennant for for new new doctors being a favorite so uh I, I really would like to see that happen uh, especially you know let's do it before he's too old to do the role um so on that note uh the other main character that's introduced in this is brian the ood if you recall ood's ood's are a creature who were genetically engineered to be in servitude yeah it's kind of grimy um but uh you know they, they did a lot of good plots with that they hold their brain in a little ball in their hand kept in their hand and so that concept of their they have a little bit of psychic energy and if somebody starts controlling them who's evil their eyes turn red and they're able to shoot electricity out of that ball uh, brian is not being controlled in that way but he is a bit different he is an assassin ood and so he does use that ability um but we'll get more into that uh in the spoiler part uh overall this is a great story recommend you watch it one of the nice things is part of time lord victorious time lord victorious is an overarching story encompassing comics animation audio dramas books magazines all sorts of stuff even uh you know toys and figures it's something where you don't have to actually enjoy every part of it to get the the overall story and most of the stories are their own self-contained story like this he kills me he kills me not you can watch this by itself don't need to see anything else and you get an amazing story there are some later time lord victorious stuff that go more in deep into the stuff hinted in this but this will add more flavor to that but this is completely unnecessary to enjoy that plot so that's the beauty of time lord victorious and an amazing sci-fi writing um, in this, we see, uh, Paul, uh, began, he's gone to this planet. It's supposed to be like this, this water filled, wonderful paradise planet. And they're going to have this big celebration. He gets there. It's a desert, uh, dusty bin house with a little old Western, uh, uh, town. And so he's trying to figure out what's going on. And we cut over to Brian the Ood. Now, Brian the Ood, he's wonderful. He's an assassin Ood, and he is a psychopath. And he talks about his brain in the third person. He says, well, of course, I shouldn't kill you. But Mr. Brain wants to. 
he tells me I should. <laughs> and so he, you know, really they're pretty evil, uh, enjoyable there. Definitely something that they're having fun with this. Um, the, the concept of uh, he's been sent to track down this gentleman's daughter, who he had genetically engineered to be the perfect daughter. To never fall in love, never never put her own needs above her father, but to take care of her father till he dies. And inevitably, though, she does manage to fall in love despite this supposed genetic programming and has run off uh, to get married. And because of that, he has decided she's defective. He's uh, sent Brian to track her down and take her back. But they crash land on this planet. And so they're going through and there's kind of this, at first they meet the doctor and she's his prisoner and the doctor is, um, you know, he's kind of telling her, you know, you say something, bad things are going to happen. So they're all playing along, giving this cover story and the doctor's okay and he helps them out. Then they go to the town and they find out that, uh, you know, the, the person's partner had already made there. And then we, we get the characters of the town. we got a barkeep. We've got the town sheriff and the town doctor. And they don't get along. What's wonderful about this is they develop these side characters so well. So well you get to know a little bit about their personality, their lives, and stuff like that. And it is very much a western setting. But it's in space. You know, Mandalorian has made that hot right now. It's, you know, it's a, it's a western with laser guns on an alien planet. So, uh, real interesting. Um, like I said, keeping this light spoilers, but uh, with uh, you know Brian the Ood coming down there, and finally it ends with the the doctor kind of taking Brian. You know they're gonna go, but then Brian kind of doesn't trust the doctor, and he ends up on the outside of the TARDIS when the doctor goes in and gets taken away that way. So. It's an interesting concept, uh, definitely um, something that is enjoyable. I definitely recommend that you go give it a listen. Um, once again, it's, it's Doctor Who doing a Western on an alien planet, and it hints at what's going on in Time Lord Victorious. Why is time being written? Why are planets no longer existing in name? Why are other planets changed, civilizations gone? And so the Doctor, the Eighth Doctor now is going to go find this out. And that really sets up the next two Paul McGann audio adventures in this. So um, if you're going to watch those, I, I, I would say that these, those three um, audio dramas definitely go together. Anyways, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis, uh, you know, talking some more Time Lord Victorious. You all have a good day.